One thing I do want to share is, and I think this might be an unpopular opinion, but there's this perception that entrepreneurs are extremely risk seeking. The way that I've approached entrepreneurship is, is kind of the exact opposite. So I've wanted to start my own thing for a very long time. I wanted to create a bit of a safety net for my family before you know embarking on what I would consider a pretty risky journey. But there's many things that I did to hedge this risk, right? So one is like working in traditional jobs and building networks of investors, working at SoftBank and things like that while building my safety net for my family. Then like during grad school, where there's a lot of opportunities for students, I kind of thought about the company, started building the company and started my raise while I was still in school. So worst case scenario, I get a job after grad school like everybody else. My worst case scenario was getting a degree from Oxford. And then after that point, you know, we had gotten into Y Combinator, right? So how can I improve the statistical chance of me succeeding as a company, whether it's due to the community, whether it's due to the tools, or whether it's due to the fact that the entrepreneurs who happen to be very successful go through things like YC. So I've thought about how do I create a minimal loss or like a no loss scenario, and while continuing to kind to build the company. That doesn't mean that I expect this company to fail, but that does mean that I recognize the probability of success in my first company. I understand the math. Trying to de-risk as you build your company is actually not a bad thing rather than just jumping into it as if it's like a noble thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I really respect you for saying that because there is a certain devil may care attitude that's associated with starting up a startup, but that does mean that that's everybody's attitude. 